look at some of the ways the a parry can allow entry and also to disorient your opponent. All right, cut it, Chris, for a second. All right. Rolling. All right. Now, okay, I already showed you how a front parry can move an arm with just a minimal amount of movement on your part, on your hand. Now, Ty, would you just, okay, throw a, throw a jab. Good. Throw a jab again. All right, throw it again. Okay. Now, using that parry, I entered. Okay. All right, do it again. Good. Do it again. Good. Do it again. Okay, I'm inside now. All right. And that was my purpose right there. Well, first of all, I'd say you saw Ty hit me in the face. Not necessarily because I like that he hit in the face, but everything we do is full contact. And um, for, for, for many reasons, which I will elucidate later, it desensitizes you to full contact sparring, which we will get into a little later on also. Okay, now. With that said, which we did it with the we did it with the right lead. Let's do it with the left lead. Okay, Ty, throw a jab. Okay, good, throw a jab. Okay. Alright. Throw a jab. Do it again. Okay, I'm inside now. See where his arm is? Alright. Now, that was my first point is to move inside. Now you see how the parry can enable that. Alright, thanks, Ty. Uh, some explanations probably warranted here. Now, if an opponent was very stiff, very strong, or very fast, I probably, I know I wouldn't be depending on a parry for entry. I mean, I'm not going to be playing patty cake with somebody coming at me full force, uh, and full strength. However, more times than not, you'll find yourself in a situation in a bar where somebody is either going to grab you or they really forecasted their punch. In either case, if somebody's going to grab you or they really forecast that punch, a parry is a very good entry because a parry is insidious. You don't have to look like you're preparing to do anything. Come here for a second, Ty. All right, we're in a bar. You start mouthing off to me, all right? And throw something with the right hand. See, I'll scratch my head, all right? That's one of the things you want to think about, is you don't want to let your opponent know that you're getting ready to counter. Um, all right, thanks for a second, time. All right. So the parry, to come from scratching the head, uh, ideally is somewhere around here. So you just be scratching your head, you wait for the ball to come in and do it. Um, again, this is not a means to an end of a fight. It's the beginning of the end. And... It's also very good practice for other punches that we're going to do later. Okay, with that said, let's always remember that you're not going to go into a fight, ready to play patty cake with somebody who's about to knock your head off. All right, let's come over here for another second. All right, now another principle that I like about the parry is kinetic motion. All right, now what you do, all right, Ty, get in stance. All right, slowly this time, come at me with a jab. Now, when I parry here, when I parry here, I immediately come to this area here. All right, let's do it again slow. It's a straight line from the hand to the head, to the temple right here. Use this knuckle right there to the temple. 
Okay, let's do it a little quicker time. I'm moving in and I have the hand to temple. It's a kinetic motion thing. It's not two motions. It comes from this way, just like that. Watch it again. I'm going to guide his hand. It's like that. You all right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, turn it off for a second. Two. All right. I'm going to hit you. Know, uh, I'm going to hit you pretty good right there. All right. Now, uh, Ty just got off a motorcycle. He's got his part. He's got his uh, boxing gloves on. He's coming at me talking about something about me talking about his girlfriend and stuff like that. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, so I'm thinking that, you know, he might not have a good attitude about it. So, he got his gloves up, you know, he comes at me talking to me like that. And, uh, Ty, if you kindly just throw a, a jab at me, okay? I moved in, used the connect motion off, off of his hand, and you know, make sure you put this part over here, okay? All right. All right, come with a jab. Good, good. Come with a jab again. Good. Come with a jab. Okay. You all right? Yeah. All right. Good. All right. I want to act right here. I want to go for right here. Okay. Come with a jab. Come with a jab. Okay. You want to come right there with the knuckle. You see the kinetic motion. It's not two blows. It's one blow. You are using economy of motion. You're getting two for the price of one. All right? All right. Let's go with that one more time. Boom. I'm here. Okay. I got him here if I want him. All right. Once I get him, get him a little stupefied by a, by a knuckle to his temple, then I'm inside, you know, to do a few, uh, few things to him at that point. All right. Stay right here, Ty. Let me get a... All right, now, let's go, we did enough with the right, uh, go with a uh, right lead, okay, now come, out, come, come across at me, okay, good, 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 okay, same thing, just coming across, here's the front hand, all right, come again, come across, come again, okay, See, he's kind of gets, his equilibrium gets off just a little bit. But that's what I really want. Now, I'm not going to stand here while his equilibrium is off like this, waiting for him to regain it. I have better things to do with my time. He comes up again. I'm in here with a knee right there, or similar, whatever I want to do at that point. Okay. Uh, Let's work a little bit of connect motion with your... Now, this is a little different because i got to watch out for this hand. All right, now, throw, throw slow, okay? Now, I hit here. If I don't hit him good enough, there's a straight line right there. And see what I'm doing wrong? You see my hand is here. It shouldn't be here if I'm going to stand. All right? All right, throw across. Okay, now I'm a little bit better position to take this hand away from him if he happens to want to connect with it. But just pretend that the situation where I think he's not going to use that hand, I come with the cross. That was a bit sloppy. That was a little sloppy, Michael. Let's go in again. Okay, a little bit of kinetic motion right there. I got him. His arms out. I got the knee right there, which might make him not feel too good tomorrow. And uh, I could do sleep if I wanted that point. All right. All right, good. Um, okay. Let's. Uh